to Egeland. Congratulations, brilliant result, brilliant performance in China. Tell us about your performance, how you feel, how it went for you. Well, I'm happy and, uh, well, definitely I got a lot of things to work on. I take the win as a pat on the back and I got to get back to the drawing board again. So you're not happy with your performance? I am happy, but I still need to work a lot, you know. There's a lot of sloppiness in my fight. Got to work on that. There were some very good moments, so is there any particular moments you feel like you need to work on then? Definitely, I need to work on like embracing the grind all the time, you know, like overcoming my adversity more and uh, learning how to stay strong with my game plan at all times. It's quite crazy, really, as you said before, you really gassed in the second round. Yep. And I don't think I've ever seen anyone come back so strong in the third round when they look so tired in the second round. It had, that was amazing. Uh, well, basically, I think it was uh, panic because it was the first time I got my nose broken and my nose was bleeding, so I didn't know I was panicked, you know, I saw blood and I was like, oh, I'm bleeding, what do I do now? And then on the third round, I wiped my nose and I like, oh, I'm actually good, I'm just panicking. So then I just came back with the game plan again. How was your whole China experience? Oh, it was definitely nice. It was a very nice country. One treated us so good over there. It was a very nice hotel, uh, good food, you know. Everything was well taken care of. Do you have any ideas who you'd like to face next? Well, uh, they have already have people on mind for me and uh, we haven't signed any contract yet. But probably in October I'll be fighting again. That'll be the K oh, uh, that, that won't be KO, is that Not away sure. again? A KL is in December, so... Not sure which one yet, but somewhere around there. Can't give us a little hint. Um, I have a name, but I'm not supposed to say it out. <laughs> okay, we're here obviously today as part of the, the lead up to one Master of Destiny. The who's who of Malaysian martial yeah. arts are here. How is it to be part of, of a day like this? Well, it's definitely an honor, you know, like I look up to F Ting a lot. He, he's been like a very big inspiration to me since the day one, you know, he helped me out with my career a bit here and there. And uh, Gianni, I look up to him as well. You know, it's always good to be around these guys because you don't meet them all the time. And when you meet them, you want to be around them, you know. That's the best feeling ever. What was it like to hear so many of them say they were inspired by your last performance going uh, into July 12th? Well, I'm just doing my thing, you know, but most of it comes from them, you know. They have uh, showed us the way and I'm just following the footsteps, that's it. Is anyone particularly looking forward to seeing July 12th, both Malaysians and non-Malaysian fighters? Well, I'm looking forward to look at F Ting's fight and all the other Malaysians' fight. But I'm looking forward to see uh, Michelini Nicolini and, Michel Nicolini and uh, Angela Lee. Yeah. Should be a good one. We're looking forward to that. Looking forward to seeing you back in the cage next time. Thanks. Congratulations again in China. Pulling the ring. Oh, ring, yeah. yeah.